Tesla has just begun construction of Queensland's biggest battery and Western Australia's biggest battery, meaning that, um, well, everything's going on here in Australia with mega pack enormous batteries being built by Tesla. We now have one in, well, we have one in Adelaide, South Australia. We have one in West Australia that's being built. We have another one in Queensland. There's another one in Melbourne that was built as well. Here in Australia, to be honest, Tesla is kind of um, really going after these enormous mega batteries and supplying, well, honestly, helping us fix Australia's grid. One of the biggest batteries in the world and the biggest battery here in Australia has just broken ground. This battery is quite remarkable. It's being built on the site of an old coal power plant. And this is what we know so far about why, what Tesla's doing and how big this battery actually is. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's phenomenal to have you with us. I want to thank our Patreon supporters and our YouTube members. If you want to support the channel on Patreon or as a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla Megapack site, it has a, well, there is a site in Western Australia or in Perth. Western Australia, some people say is a little bit like Texas. I mean, it's nearly as big as Texas. Uh, I believe it might even be as big as Texas, but it only has a couple of million people. It's a pretty small population. I actually lived in that state. I lived in Perth for two years. I loved it there. It was a great place to live. I highly recommend it to anyone. But um, realistically, the grid there, it has had some significant challenges, but they want, to, they want to become a renewable energy superpower. So they're building out massive solar farms and huge, huge batteries. Construction has begun on an expansion to a mega battery using Tesla mega, mega packs in Australia. Now the coal power plant, right, that is right next to this mega battery, it's about to be closed down. Neon, which is actually a French company, they are getting Tesla to build this battery. And Tesla has built batteries for Neon before. In April, Neon revealed its latest success was a huge battery, which is meant to help absorb all the excess solar being generated in Western Australia. The idea was that um, it would absorb all this extra solar that's basically being wasted and then pump it back into the grid between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. or 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. in the evenings, the peak time in the evenings, for everyone to come home, turn on the air conditioners, get the house cool, and then you know go to sleep. That's that peak hour, that peak period. AEMO, which is the Australian regulator, they recently released details of this battery. Neon will be paid $591,000 per megawatt per year for the 300 megawatts of battery capacity in this contract. Now, the contract translates to $177 million per year to Neon, which is obviously the company getting Tesla to build the battery. And this um, this battery will actually be a It'd be a big, it'd be a great solution because it will fix the state's solar duck curve. The Collie battery will be built over two stages, or I'm going to call it the Perth battery. It'll be sized at a total of 560 megawatts and 2,240 megawatt hours. That means it's the biggest battery in Australia. The second biggest battery in Australia, if you're wondering, is a 500 megawatt, 2,000 megawatt hour battery being built by Synergy. And the third biggest battery is actually being built near me. It's not far away from me at all, about 20 minutes away from me. It's uh, a 275 megawatt battery, which is 2,200 megawatt hours. That's in the Richmond Valley in New South Wales. Neon has contracted Tesla to supply its mega pack battery product for both the Collie battery and also other batteries. And this contract for Tesla is worth about one point two billion dollars based on Tesla's mega pack prices, says reneweconomy.com.au. Now total construction costs would of course be in excess of that number. However, what's intriguing about all of this is the fact that realistically, Neon, couldn't they just go to BYD or CATL and buy their batteries which are cheaper than what Tesla's charging? They're a lot cheaper in fact. Well, they could. But BYD and CATL, even though the biggest, they are the biggest battery companies in the world, by a fair margin, they just don't have the experience that Tesla does in, well, essentially building grid scale batteries, connecting them to the grid, getting the software to work so that you can fix these uh, solar duct curves, so you can get that energy into the grid when it's needed, 
all the software is really a big part of the reason why Tesla's Tesla's so good at building these big mega pack batteries. Now, Tesla's energy division has grown this year by a staggering amount, and Tesla actually makes the same profit from one mega pack battery as it does from selling 100 electric cars. Now, obviously with EVs, you have all these other issues though. You've got to, you've got to kind of recall them sometimes. You've got to fix problems that come up in warranty issues. These mega pack batteries, which are now lithium ion phosphate, are actually very affordable. Tesla gets those cells from CHL and repackages these batteries. They very, very rarely have any issues. So even though Tesla makes the same profit from one of these batteries as 100 EVs, it probably works out more like one battery to 150 EVs. You can really see why Tesla's focusing on energy storage over the last year. Thanks for watching.